Hey friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, least toxic, most fun community in all gaming. Have you ever watched a video on a champion and saw somebody 1v9, tried that champion and went 0-17? Well, I sure have. If you ever had that happen to you, then this video is going to be for you. Boy, do I have a treat today. In this video, I'm going to be playing Zeri, but this is going to apply to all late game champions that need at least an item before they're strong and the real power spikes come in the 2-3 to three item range. If you want to learn more about power spikes check out my other video here and I'll also put a link in the description. I'll focus on how to think about the laning phase then we're going to transition into first objectives so Rift Herald and Dragon, team fighting, secondary objectives and then the late game. I'm going to show you when you need to play safe, when to step up into fights, how to set up ganks for your jungle and when to go crazy and 1v9 the enemy. Let's start out with the draft. We saw the enemy pick Nautilus and Jarvan. So most likely we are laning against a Nautilus support. For this reason alone, we could pick Zeri, but Jarvan also has a shield as well, so this is perfect. They're going to give us free shields in almost every fight that we have in this match. Now, we hope that the enemy picks another one or two shields to really round out the comp for us, but if they don't, it's not the end of the world. Our support is an Ami, which is fine, not great, and we kind of want them to go airy, but um, they don't. They end up using Glacial Augment, which is, you know, okay, that's fine too. And we end up getting a ribbon in mid that'll also give us a shield, so this is looking pretty good for us. On the loading screen, we should at least be aware that Nautilus took Ignite Flash, Virus took Flash and Ghost. And you can look at the rest of the enemy comp, but it's a lot of information to remember, and it's not as relevant to our early lane and our early fights. And you can only think about so many things, you know, at one time, and top lane summoner spells just isn't high on the priority list. The next thing we should do is think about early ganks from the enemy mid and jungle. Both have the potential for early ganks, so we should be aware of this and that it could happen. Zin can actually gank for us as well, but Brand is going to be a little bit slower than Ribbon is. The next thing to quickly consider is what's going to happen in a team fight. We're going to be jumped on by basically everyone on the enemy team except for Virus, or at least we should be. We need to hold our jump and flash to get away and make sure that the only time that we use those to engage is when we for sure won the fight. Okay, right now we need to see that we saw Jarvan on the top side of the map, Ribbon's in mid, and Zin is coming towards us and he's pinging danger. Our Nami gets engaged on, which isn't great, but also isn't the end of the world, and this Nautilus is posturing so aggressively, and Zin is right here. He's actually, that Nautilus is right in the danger zone. So what we need to do is start thinking about setting up a gank so that way we can get an early kill because we're going to have a really tough time getting kills without a gank coming here. And you can see Zin wrapping around. They want to get Nami and so they're very aggressive. And so what do we do? Nami goes right in that bush. That was a beautiful bait by them. Zin's able to knock up Nautilus and we get the first kill. So perfect. And that's exactly what I was talking about when I mentioned, you know, when we should be engaging and when not. Nami played that so beautifully where she ran up way too far, went into the bush in order to suck them in, and they thought that they could get the kill, and as that was happening, Jin was coming around for the gank, and we were able to get the first kill on them. And that's what you need to think about when you're playing these late game champions. You can't just run at them, hope you're going to win a fight, because we really don't. If we just run at these guys, and Nautilus hits us with a hook, and then once Virus gets level 5, so hook into a virus assault we're basically dead or whoever got hit by that is going to die and so what we are relying on right now is our mid lane and our jungle to do the to do ganks in order for us to get kills and we just need to play safe and poke a little bit here and there like me with my second ability nami with her abilities this is going to be a tough engage like it's a lot of damage right now but Nami's able to get level 5, alt, I'm able to jump right through the Nautilus and get another kill. So that was really unfortunate. They just sort of pushed way too far into our wave and they were taking damage from our wave. And they allowed me to get my alt off and just keep firing. So that was a mistake on their part. And I mean, that's another way that you're going to get kills in this situation is when the enemy just comes way too far, way too deep. They had their jungle coming. I don't know if you saw at the tail end there. Their jungle was, we were getting rotated on, but they just engaged too quickly on us. And now I'm going to be looking to take these camps. I don't need to go for a reset just yet. So I'm going to take this jungle camp, get back to my lane, farm the wave. And that was probably a little bit of frustration on their part. So they came in just a little bit too deep there. Now we actually have Zin coming back. He's on our side and you can see him. He's pathing right here. Like 
he wants us engaged, he wants us to fight. And so one of us is going to have to step up and do a little bit of baiting again. Nautilus is actually setting up vision in the exact wrong spot. And so what am I doing? I'm trying to get a little poke and I'm too deep. I knew I was going to get hit by that, but I knew Jin was coming. And so that's exactly why I did it. Let's see if we're able to get a kill. And we're able to get another kill on their lane. And so this is going beautifully here. I'm going to try to get back here and because if I can engage on this, I'll be able to get a kill. Nautilus is a little too deep here and he really shouldn't be where he is right now. So that was a mistake we were able to capitalize on. And now Jin is pinging that he's looking to go to Dragon. And so he should be grouping up for the team fight here. Um, he's on his way. We can see that Gwen is at the top tower. Olaf is going there. So our kind of our worst case scenario is going to be a 4v4. And I'm pretty strong right now. I have three kills, two assists. I just went shopping not too long ago. And so I'm ready to do this fight. Now I'm starting up Dragon. We can see that they're engaging. So what am I doing? I'm backing off. I'm getting my passive stacked. Get my ultimate off. I'm able to get one kill, three, two kills, three kills. And now it's really just a matter of cleaning this up. I'm able to get Nautilus. And now I would burn everything just to get this pentakill here at this point. Okay, so... The enemy actually gets a double kill on us, but that's okay. And a few of us go down, but I am the late game carry here, and I get a pentakill. So even if we didn't get that dragon, it would have been worth it. Uh, but fortunately, we were able to secure the dragon as well. We lose Rift Herald, but not that big of a deal. So that is great. So this is going beautifully. Now I just want to push this wave out. I just don't want to give them this tower for free right here. And so I'm going to stay here for one... Maybe, no, I, I would consider staying for a second wave, but really not a big deal. I'm just going to rush back to lane here. If I have to use my jump, I will, but I'll probably be able to just hit the tower with my second ability, clear the wave, and save the tower. And we could consider an engage here, especially if Nautilus does that. Uh, my ultimate came back up, so I'm able to use that, get another two kills, and hit Varus with my second ability, which is really unfortunate because I just slipped it by. And the slow on that can be so potent. Like, you don't realize how much slow Zeri can apply when she hits you with both their first and second abilities. And Ribbon is going to be trying to get a kill here, but I don't know that they're going to pull that off. I mean, one of their defenses is a shield, and I'm able to just steal that, live, and we get another kill. And so we're 10-0-4, we're which is a really comfortable spot. But if you watch the intro to this video, you're going to want to see what happens because things get really dicey really fast and you wouldn't really expect it to happen. Okay, now take a quick look at the map and think about what you would want to do. I'm sort of trending towards mid to get that mid tower, but I see that's really not going to work out. Ribbon's going to be able to clear that. And then I see Varus show himself on the bottom side of the map pretending like he still has a tower and not realizing that I'm Zeri and I can jump over the wall and do something like that. So... We are able to force his ultimate out. I have to use flash in order to get the kill, but that's not going to be that big of a deal. Like, that's worth it. So I get a, another kill, get his ultimate out, and now we're getting rotated on, so we should back off here and just make sure that we don't die. Um, I thought about resetting, but there's really not... You know, I can reset. There's nothing I'm going to do on the bottom side of the map here. I can see that they're going to push this in, so I will stay and at least clear this wave and then consider fighting them because Nautilus is maybe by himself. We have Brand here. Okay, Ruin shows himself on the bottom side of the map and I need to get over to the middle of the map because their entire team is there and if a team fight breaks out, I'm going to want to be there. Okay, now try to think about, so what's my role right now? I am the carry and I want to be at every single objective, every single team fight. And in the meantime, I want to be just putting pressure on the enemy. I shouldn't force things. I don't need to force anything. What I just need to do is be at all the objective fights, so all the dragons, if a baron fight breaks out, and then farming up jungle camps and farming waves in the meantime because I should be trying to get the most amount of gold. I want to make sure that nobody can catch me. We've got this dragon spawning here, and I'm just sort of trending in the direction of the dragon. I don't think they want a team fight right at this moment, although... Uh, they could consider it. They could have tried to contest it, but they didn't. And so here you see me just running around, farming waves, farming jungle camps. And again, just trying to keep the pressure on. I want these waves shoved in. If we see something like this where this Gwen is out of line, we use our jump in order to catch her. 
which she might have got away if not for my jump and slow. Maybe not, though. Uh, but we want to be aware that we should take those easy kills because the enemy is going to make mistakes and we want to capitalize on them. And then we want to be at every single team fight objective and farming right now. We've got Baron up. Jin is in mid fighting, and I'm really not ready to fight at this moment. Fortunately, we're able to get a kill. And so now what I need to do is just catch these waves. But as you can see, they're kind of rotating on us. And I go for Guardian. I, I wouldn't normally get Guardian as my third full item, except for the fact that I have a big bounty on me. And so if I, go to, if I do go down, I want to be able to come back and hopefully get out of there. Brand's pinging the group at Baron, um, so it looks like a fight might be breaking out. And I use my ultimate and I whiffed on it, uh, which is terrible, and then I get jumped on. So let's see if I can get out of there. Fortunately, there's a good stun onto Nautilus. I'm able to get a kill. And now we should consider... We should consider Baron there. It's probably not the best spot because Zin's not there. And so we're going to push this out, and then we've got Dragon spawning in 20 seconds. So let's get a quick shop in. Rotate for dragon and try to get to this fight before things get too out of hand for our team um, So brand goes down. He's a lot of damage and I need to back off and get out of there. This Gwen is right on top of me. So this is a bad spot Fortunately, I have guardian. I also have stasis, but I go down and this is not looking good because they have most of their team there for their team and only one of us is alive. So if they get this kill, this might be the end of the game. Like, their wave is right there. They could shove this in and potentially end the game. And I think, oh my gosh, we have lost the match. Because they're going to go for the inhibitor turret. And they've got just Brand coming, which he's good. And then I see, oh no, we got Brand. And he can save the day. So I give him a little bit of encouragement that he'll be able to save it. And fortunately, they back off. Now, we should be thinking that it's possible they're going to Baron right now. Like, you can see them on the map heading towards Baron. And so all of us should generally head in that direction, quickly grab this wave, and then sort of head towards Baron to see if that's what they're doing. We could also, another thing that we could do is take this dragon. So this actually isn't that bad of a play. If they're on Baron, we're going to get a free dragon. But fortunately, they didn't go for Baron. And... Probably because they were low and they didn't want to risk it or risk us collapsing on it. And so we get the third dragon. And now I'm just doing the same thing again. I'm farming jungle camps, farming waves, just trying to get more items, trying to stay ahead of the entire team. We've got Elder spawning in about 20 seconds right now. And we got a team fight breaking out. So they really shouldn't be fighting without me. I mean, our team isn't winning by that much. And the reason we're winning is because of all of my kills and so I wouldn't recommend starting fights without me fortunately we were able to win that fight I was able to get there in time and now I'm just looking around seeing if we can get the last of them but we're not so we'll just take the free Baron that's no big deal and so now we're gonna grab Baron and we should consider both pushing down turret towers and also ending um, what I want to do right now is I'm heading right towards Elder. I want Elder, I think. I don't think we're going to get all the towers yet. And I felt like it was going to be a free Elder. Which it turned out to be. So that's perfect. So we have Elder and Baron right now. And we should really be looking for them to fight. Like, we want to fight. We especially want to fight if they're going to engage through one of our waves. And in the meantime, we can just push down towers almost at will. Because they're in a really weird spot. So they need to sort of just let us take a couple towers, which is free gold and good for us. But we don't want to step up too far and get caught. Uh, kind of like this is happening right now. Let's see if we can take care of this. We're able to get a couple of kills. And I get really excited in Flash, uh, which was probably a mistake, but that's all right. And let's see. Are we going to be able to end? We get another kill, and we end. Okay, so what are the key takeaways here? Play safe early, wait for your jungle in order to get ganks, wait for the enemy to make mistakes, and then as a champion, especially one like Zari or uh, Jinx, Twitch, you want to wait for those team fights, group with your team, and then hang back and save all of your dashes for when the enemy tries to engage on you. That way you can get out of the fights safely and end up getting kills just like we did in this match.
Hopefully I see you on the Rift. GG.